I'm going to show you how to use Pro Color Monitor in its simple form to do a capture and show the different modes uh, that the application has. I've selected Final Cut Pro um, to do the tutorial, but you could basically use any app that you want. So, anyway, I'm going to launch Pro Color Monitor. It pops up, and you got a welcome screen. Here you can read the guides, and I highly encourage you to do that because they're good. It will tell you about white balancing and the concept of the monitor and the rules and whatever there is to know about the, the thing. I'm going to hit this button here to go back to the capture screen. And there you can also see a list of all the shortcuts uh, that the application has. The application is shortcut driven. That means you don't press any buttons uh, on the mouse. Basically, you use your keyboard to, to do all the features that the app has so you can click the shortcuts here and there's a list uh, of what you can do in a short description uh, which will tell you uh, what the shortcuts are doing if you find that the background is too bright uh, you can click this little lamp up here and you will get a darker mode which you can use to read your files anyway we have the last part here, which is tutorials. Uh, there'll be more in the future, but for now we have two, and this is how to capture, which you're watching right now, and how to analyze the image. Uh, these are YouTube videos, and you're watching this on YouTube probably. Now I'm gonna show you how to do a capture. The first way of doing a capture, we have four modes. I'm gonna start with the first one. This is from the welcome screen. You can click capture, and you get a crosshair here, a loop. Uh, which you will place in either either corner of the image. You could place it over here, you could place it down here and here, whatever. The basic concept is to draw a rectangle, uh, which is the size of the image. Now you don't drag, you don't um, have to drag to, to capture the image. You just double click in the top corner and in the lower right corner, you double click again and you have a capture of the image. That's the first way. Now, if you want to recapture the image, and now you don't obviously uh, have the button uh, which is called capture to press on, so you just double click in the image. This is the second way you can do a capture. And as you can see, the application window disappears um, when you do a capture so it doesn't get in your way. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to double click there. And I'm going to double click here and I've done my recapture. If I don't want to double click in the window, and this is the third way of doing a capture, I can just hit the C key and exactly the same thing happens. The application window disappears and I can go ahead and do my, my capture here by double clicking. So I'm going to show you the fourth way and the last way of doing a capture, uh, which is a different mode of doing it. But first of all, I'm going to kill the capture and I do that by hitting the X key. Then I'll get back to the welcome screen. You, This is a fourth way of doing a capture. I'm just going to position the window above the window I wish to capture and I'm going to hit the D key and now I've captured exactly uh, what was beneath that window. I'm going to move it away now and uh, there, there you go. You have your capture. These are the four ways of doing a capture. And uh, there's one more way that I'd like to show you. I'm just going to kill the capture again. I'm going to hit the C key. I'm going to move the crosshairs, the loop, up to the upper left corner. And I'm going to hit the Q key on the keyboard. And then I'm going to move the mouse down to the lower right corner. And I'm going to hit the W key. And this will do a capture again. It's just so you don't have to double click uh if you don't like that so but anyway uh these are the ways that you can do a capture uh within the application and um that's just about it um i'm going to show you uh the modes that the application has and the mode we are in now the default mode is is false color it'll show you uh the color casts that your image has you can see over here in the normal image uh, that everything is is yellow. We have a yellow color cast, and this 
gets depicted uh, in Pro Color Monitor uh, with blue, which is the opposite of yellow. So um, the blue is there so that you can see in which direction to move your slider, uh, which is in another tutorial. Uh, but anyway, you would have to move your temperature slider uh, towards um, blue to attempt to color the image white. But this is for a second tutorial. But anyway, this is false color mode. Uh, if you want to see a pure mirror of the image which you have captured, you hit the A key, and this will show you a mirror uh, of, of the image you have captured. But this is not the goal of the monitor. It's just there as a bypass feature, so to speak. So, but um, what you can do in this mode here is hit the one key. I'm going to do that now. And then you can see the black clippings. Uh, the black clippings obviously show that here in the fireplace uh, we are clipping in these colors. I'm going to zoom in for a second. And you can see the colors which are clipping. The green is clipping, the red is clipping, and the blue is clipping. So if you want to counter uh, measure that, you can do that and, or you cannot. To drop out of this mode, you hit one again and you get your normal image. If you hit the two key on the keyboard, you will see the clippings on the white. I'm going to zoom in here. You can obviously see that the lamp over here has clipped a lot. And uh, you can see that the reds are clipping and the blues are clipping. Since we are not, I'm just going to hit two on the keyboard again to drop out of the mode. We're not in false color mode uh, when we do this, um, but we can be if we switch back to false color mode on the A key and hit two, we see all the clippings in false color mode and the same goes for the black clipping in false color mode. So these are the modes that the application has. I'm going to hit X again to kill the capture and show you one last thing in case you mess up a capture. I'm going to hit capture here and uh, let's say I do the first coordinate and I didn't like where that coordinate was. I can hit the escape key and the app takes me back to the welcome screen and I can do it all over again. And a neat little feature of this application is that it works as a loop. Um, so let's say you would not want to monitor the entire image, but just monitor the book lying down here on the table. You would initiate a capture and go down here. Oops. Did something wrong. Initiate a capture, go down here and just capture the book. Then the book gets really big and say that the book was the only white thing that you had in the image. Uh, it would be pretty cool to just be able to monitor that. So this is like a like a loop. You can switch to non-inverted mode and you can see your image uh, as it is. I'm going to switch back. There's one last feature of the application in case uh, the quality doesn't really matter to you or your fans get too loud while you uh, work. You can switch down to low quality mode by hitting the L key on the keyboard. You will get a slightly more blurry uh, version of the image, but it will not take as many pictures per second. Um, as it would in high quality mode, which you reach by hitting the H key. So you can switch between performance modes by using L for low performance and H for high performance. I'm going to hit the X key to drop out of uh, the capture and uh, leave it there. So let's say that you would not want to have the image this big uh, because the monitor is obscuring some kind of feature that you need. You can just I'm just going to do a capture real quick. And you can just resize the window uh, and move it someplace else. It doesn't really matter. You can put it on top of the image or whatever you please. Uh, move the app around. You move the app around. You can click wherever you want and drag the application around. And that's it. So if in here now uh, you would want to quickly watch the keyboard's shortcuts, all you got to do is hit the S key for shortcuts. And you can watch them really quick and you hit the S key again to go back. Uh, if you wanted to watch the guide, you could just hit the G key and you could really quickly uh, read something about the 
the monitor you hit the G key again to go back and that's it uh, you're done I'm just gonna switch over to another application so you can see that the the color monitor follows I'm gonna switch to Photoshop I'm gonna move my image on the monitor someplace where it doesn't get in the way initiate a capture and now I got it here in Photoshop as well. So I can just go back and forth and switch between the application just like I please. I'm gonna switch back to Final Cut Pro uh, where I'm in now, quickly initiate a capture. Doesn't have to be that exact. You can do it every way you please. And to show you that it also works in full screen mode, I'm just gonna hit the full screen and you can see that we overlay uh, the application in full screen as well. So uh, you could do that. You could also monitor, uh, you could have Pro Color Monitor on one display and Final Cut Pro on a second display and you could still monitor it. It will monitor whatever you click on, basically. So I think this is just about it that I could show you about this application. Uh, the rest is about analysis of the colors, about the white balance, which we're going to try to attempt to cover in the second tutorial um, so thank you for watching i hope that this brought a little bit of clearance to how to use the app goodbye